one, two, three, action! Hello everyone, today Mrs Barry is showing you how to make your very own homemade mirror cake. So by the end of this video you will know how to make your very own mirror glaze. Barry has been bombarded with requests for this cake that I have. we're going to make Everyone's today. like, make a mirror cake, make a mirror I'm like, okay. And now with Mrs Barry <laughs> being on the channel and probably doing a regular baking uh, recipe every week. I hate to say. We've got an excuse to do it, I can't really yeah. escape from it, so um... This is how we did it. The recipe actually begins last night. <sighs> Excuse me. I just breathed over your cake. Sorry. My cake. I'm going to eat most of it anyway. So I had a long journey. Uh, so you've baked up these lovely chocolate cakes, right? Yes, I have. Uh, but of course, you don't have to use chocolate cake. You could use your sponge of choice. You can, whether it's vanilla, chocolate, a family. Mm. Recipe. A fa not a family. Yeah, bake a family. Yeah, that's a bit cool. Don't I mean, put like, humans in the oven. I mean, like if you've got one that you that's been passed down from your nan or yeah. from your auntie or anything. Some of these like people's that. nans might not be alive. Oh, yeah, let's just put that out there. Okay. So yeah, Mrs. Barry makes the most amazing cakes as well. So maybe oh, it might nice. be worthwhile if you do like a base vanilla cake, chocolate cake. So if you do some more advanced stuff, which okay. I hope you are going to, uh, so we can too. refer back to that in another video. Let us know down below, folks. Yeah. Uh, so what do we do with these now? So now we're going to put some frosting in the middle, we're going to put the other sponge on top and we're going to frost the top and all around the edges so it's completely covered in frosting. Yummy. Mrs Barry, you have done a sterling job there my friend. Oh, High thanks. five. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we now have to put this in the fridge, right? We do. You need to leave it in there for a minimum of two hours but we're going to leave ours in there overnight so it's really chilled, ready for the morning. It's going to be as cool as a cucumber. And it is. Good morning everyone, I hope you slept well. I kind of did. I have been thinking about this cake all night and how it's going to turn out, but fingers crossed it's going to go well today. The cake has been in the fridge all night set in and I did check on it and it's pretty hard and solid so it's ready for our icing to go on. Our first step to make this icing is to mix 5 teaspoons of powdered gelatin with 125 mils of cold water in a bowl. So in goes our cold water and then in goes our gelatin. Just going to stir it up until it's dissolved. Oh, there's a really funny smell. <laughs> oh. Beef gelatin, it does smell, doesn't it? There's hooves, my love. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I never realised that. Now that's mixed. Oh, that really stinks. I hope it's not going to make the cake smell. Oh. <laughs> they do actually do vegetarian okay. gelatin. I have a crazy story about Brian Adams about that, which I'll oh, tell yeah. you one day. Yeah. I that. I'm now going to leave this to set for about five to ten minutes. Right, so while that's setting, our next step is we're going to add our sugar, cold water, which is about 60 mils in this glass, and our um, liquid glucose. Now, the recipe that I did find online said to use light corn syrup, but it was an American recipe, and I've been looking everywhere, and I couldn't find it in any shops, um, so I did hear that liquid glucose was a good substitute. So fingers crossed that's going to work. I also did hear that golden syrup is another one we can use, but I thought that's got like a goldy colour and I wasn't sure if that would affect the colour of the icing too much, so I've just gone with the liquid glucose for today. Oh, it's not coming out. You might want to just give it a push. Oh, there we go, with your spatula, just to get it out the jug. Right, next I'm going to pour in our sugar. Ooh, in it goes. And then our cold water. I don't know if you can hear that, but the dog's snoring in the background. Is she? Which <laughs> one is it? She's fast asleep, it's Amy. Amy. <laughs> right, I'm just going to give this a mix. Oh gosh, it's a bit stiff. So it's well combined it. No, that's Combined it? <laughs> You're just creating this word, combined it. I like it. Oh, I'm just going to give this a mix till it's well combined. So now I'm going to add the saucepan onto the heat. I'm just going to put it on a low flame. Oh, was that lit? Yeah, that's lit. Just checking. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this on a low heat until the sugar has dissolved and that will come once the mixture starts to boil, it will go. This has never happened to me. This must be a jinx for Mrs Barry, right? We just had a bit of a sieve emergency because I knew we were trying to get stuff ready and we realised we needed a sieve and we can't find our sieve it's anywhere. Like gone. I don't know where it's gone. Yeah. I think you've taken it somewhere and not brought it back. I don't take it out for a walk like the dogs. <laughs> So I've just had to run across the road to my mum and dad. I'm running in flip flops. I must have looked like a right idiot. I can't run in flip flops. 
I had to stop because I realised running down the street with flip flops wasn't a good idea. But anyway, we've got one, so we're all right. So this is bubbling away nicely. It's been on the heat, I guess, for about um, eight minutes now, and all the sugar's dissolved. So I'm just going to turn the heat off like that, and now we're going to take it off the heat. Oh yeah, it does. I was going to say it doesn't smell, but it does still a bit. It kind of reminds me of apple sauce a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste like apple sauce. Anyway, we're going to pull this into a hot pan, and it goes. And now I'm just going to whisk this together, just until it's dissolved. And I've got to be honest, that smell, <laughs> that smells horrible. Now I'm going to add in our condensed milk. In it goes. This should hopefully make it smell a bit nicer. There we go. That will do. I'm just going to whisk this up. Oh, that smells a bit nicer now. It's a nice sweet milk. There we go. I think that's all whisky. Whisked. I can't say whisk. <laughs> whisked. Whisked in. So now this saucepan is still really hot. But I'm going to pour this mixture into our white chocolate so that it will melt it. So we're just going to let the mixture from the saucepan melt the chocolate. We're going to leave it for about two to three minutes, or you can just give it a gentle stir to help it along its way. So that's looking pretty smooth now. I'm pretty sure there's no lumps in it, but some of the recipes that I've been sent by you guys have suggested that you use a blender now to get rid of any lumps that there might be. So I'm just going to do that just on the safe side. So that's looking pretty smooth. But to get rid of all these air bubbles on the top, if you can see, we're going to pass it through a sieve into another bowl. There we go, I'm going to just pass it slowly through the sieve. I think this is a really good idea to do because I have little bits of vanilla in my chocolate I was using and the sieve has just caught them on the top. This is going to make the icing extra smooth. Because I'm going to use two different coloured icings today, I'm going to pour some of this mixture into a smaller bowl, then I can mix one of each colour. <laughs> in goes our food colouring gel. I'm going to keep adding the purple until it's the right colour. So I'm pretty happy with that. I did use a whole tub of food colouring gel. I probably would have liked to have used another one just to make it a little bit darker, but I think that's looking pretty good for now. And now I'm going to do the same with our pink. Because this is a smaller amount, I think this is going to be a lot brighter in colour. Oh wow, look at that. Right, I'm happy with that. Let's get it on the cake. I've transferred our lovely chocolate cake onto a wire rack, and I put a baking tray underneath so that it can catch all the icing when we pour it on. Here goes, let's put the icing on the cake. Wow. Woohoo. They'd be really generous with it. Make sure you pour it all on so the cake is completely covered. <gasps> wow, this looks amazing. So now it's time to add the pink. I've just got a spoonful of icing and I'm gonna gently drizzle it across. I'm not too sure what I'm doing, but just some kind of Funky design. I'm just going to add a few squirts of silver glitter around the cake just to make it extra sparkle. The last thing I did was transfer the cake back onto the cake stand and I am really pleased with that. I think it looks amazing for a first attempt. Now let's have a taste. Mrs Barry, her chocolate yeah. cake, no joke, is amazing. So I 100% want you to show these people your sta standard uh, chocolate cake. But the icing, okay. how can you describe the taste of the, the icing? This is the quirky bit about the recipe, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a mm, like a white chocolate. Yeah, milky, creamy, milky. white chocolatey, mm. but really good. It so, tastes nothing like that smell of gelatine. <laughs> it doesn't taste of hooves? Amazing. Yeah, um, so there good. we go, folks. Don't forget to subscribe for regular videos. In terms of baking videos, let Mrs. Barry know what you want to see next, and yes. I'll be back with another recipe and a fun day very soon. See you next time. Bye.